what's popping youtube it's your girl jay and i'm back to pop my shit again as y'all can see i am tea party ready um we are going to a woman to woman tea party that is hosted by the um senator of the city um toy and rage is supposed to be there it's supposed to be a good time good vibe they're gonna have brunch bottomless mimosas and um i wish i could have showed y'all my fit before i left the house but i was kind of rushing because it is one o'clock and i didn't go to sleep till five i'm um, doing my hair and my lashes but everything came out so cute and um yeah earrings got the accessories um is the bag so yes i'm gonna be vlogging try to make this a really really good vlog because i haven't vlogged in a while so hopefully it's not too short hopefully i can get everything and we can have a good time learn some you know knowledge network things like that it's always good to get out and just you know meet different people and do different things so that's what we're on today i'm gonna see you guys when we get there Hey y'all, so we just made it. I'm about to go in. Okay, yeah, because my skirt wants to pull a Marilyn Monroe, but this is the fit. If y'all can see, the sun's pretty bright. As y'all can see, I got a little I haven't been vlogging because I've been taking pictures, y'all. So we're waiting for it to start, but let me show y'all. I honestly need to go sit by a table. So far, so good. I got some amazing pictures. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not because it's very noisy. But we're waiting for the event to start. I'm excited. I think everything's going to be cool. I got my good little mimosa. I'm really about to go. I don't know. I don't took so many pictures. And I was like, oh my gosh, my vlog my vlog but i was gonna leave y'all too long it's so amazing to see like every like it's so many women from different age groups different generations so it's not like it's for young people it's not like it's for old people it's cool but i'm gonna let y'all enjoy the event as well so. Your daughter or your child 
making the same mistakes you made. So me, I dated a rapper. I am I am wrong, my daughter to date a rapper. As y'all can see, I am back home. Um, the event was super, super fun. Of course, it was like a mom and daughter event. Of course, you had Toya and Ray Janae came out and they did um, a conference kind of like, it was like a little panel discussion with the host who is the senator of Memphis and Seamish. Shout out to her. Um, her. Her and her daughter did an event and then they invited Toya and Ray Janae. And um, of course, uh, my mom was like, this is a perfect event for us. So she dragged me to the event because she know um, the senator. But it was nonetheless, it was a great event. I had an amazing time. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I um, I really enjoyed myself. I saw one of my um, friends who I hadn't seen in a while. Um, she came out and she was hosting. So that was pretty uh, fun. Um, we had bottomless mimosas. Um the old job I used to work at, they were catering. So it was it was a really, really nice vibe, nice time. It is eight o'clock and we got there at like two. So I am really tired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really tired. Um I should have got something to eat before I got home. The reason why I didn't is because I didn't know what I wanted to eat, and now all I can eat is what's in the kitchen and I have to cook and I don't feel like cooking right now. So Plus, I'm trying to stop eating out, y'all. Like, I want to stop eating out, especially because it be food in the house. I just be wanting to go eat out so I can get a drink and, 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 and vibe. And that's the problem. That's what we got to stop. Set boundaries and um, also respect boundaries. So, like, um, set boundaries with my mom, but respect them because I feel like um like me and my mom we're we're aren't like we're we're close i'm not gonna lie me and my mom are close um we could be closer but we're close we're pretty cool um and i think i'm at the age where you know i'm 24 i'll be 25 at the end of the year and it's like i have to definitely start setting boundaries with my mom because i am getting older um but and you know it's kind of hard to do so because she's still gonna look you know your mom's still gonna look at you as you're her child, you're her baby. So, <laughs> um, so that's the thing. But I definitely want to start setting boundaries, you know, just with anybody and everybody in my life. Like, I don't want to. That was like one of the, the best, I think one of the best topics because even Ray Janae had asked, she was like, when is it a good time to, st like, when do the mom understand that it's time to start you know for the daughter to put boundaries into place because i think oftentimes a lot of parents don't realize that you know especially when we're growing up we're adults too now like we have lives too we have boundaries as well so we definitely have to start you know setting those boundaries because i think um also something i i seen you know a while ago um learning to decenter your family i think is pretty important you know you want to Definitely keep your family close. Definitely let your family in on what you got going on. You know, not shun your family out, but you want to descend to your family. So you don't want to always run to your parents for everything. You don't always want to run to your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles for everything. You have to learn how to descend to your family um, so you can focus in on you and make the best choices for you. So that was a good takeaway that I took from that panel discussion. Um, again, y'all, it was a really, really nice event. Um Peep the hair though. Like, like I said, don't worry about the line. I just took that um lace band off and don't really worry about that side. But it's giving. It's giving like y'all, I have got so much better at my hair. And if y'all want my TikTok live right now, unfortunately, y'all have to be like that because um, I broke my tripod. I need to get a new one. 
Oh, yeah, the hair eats, though. I'm so glad I know what I'm doing when it comes to hair now. So now, I'm going to keep my hair done. Hair going to stay done. Up to 5 o'clock in the morning doing, well, no. I actually finished my hair pretty fast. I, I, I want to say I finished my hair. I finished my hair at a decent time. So I started my hair. So what I did was I glued the wig down. Then after I glued the wig down, I started to um, do my lashes. My lashes is what took most of the time because I did use this new brand. And don't get me wrong, I love the lashes. I love the brand. But I started doing the bold dramatic lash set. And I hadn't really been wearing bold dramatic lashes. So I had to take them off. And I was like, no, I'm just going to do a simple set. So I took them off and um, I kind of had to figure out where I had it mapped on this side. Even though if you really tell, because this is the eye that I always start with, this eye looks totally different from this eye because I couldn't remember what I did on this eye when I took some of them off. It was it was a lot going on last night. Not to mention, my eyes was watering. So um, yeah, I didn't go to sleep till 5 o'clock and then I woke up around 9.30 and then I started getting ready. Um, I do have on press-ons. Yes, these are press-ons, and they look good. So, I say all this to say, being a DIY girly will help you. Not only will it help you save money, but also it'll just help you, like, in any time of need. Like, any time of need. Like, I can really change my hair any time I want to. Like, look, do you see the material? And obviously, y'all know I've been doing my makeup. But my makeup has definitely gotten better. And I love press-ons now. Um, I did get some new glue, the Beauty Secrets glue from Sally's. If you know, you know, I just put you on. They say this glue is supposed to last a long time. I'm going to update y'all um, on one of my other platforms. And um, I had this little Versace outfit on that's so old, so old, so old, so old, so old. And y'all, when I bought it, it was big. Tell me why it was small. So y'all know that mean I gained some weight. But um, I was happy to wear that because I just got tired of looking at it. And I also got like a Chanel sweater in there too that I need to wear. And then that's it. I think them like my only des the designer clothes that I had that just been sitting in the closet. I just wore that because I kind of figured it was a little small. But whatever. I wasn't about to buy nothing new. I'm like, I'm going to wear all my clothes before I buy something else. And I But I think I'm just going to add on. So if you stayed this far, then... Yeah, so we're just continuing on that vlog. But if not, what's popping? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back with another video. So, um, I've been kind of in my A for a while, you guys. But on story short, I've just been going through the motions with um, you know, having jobs, working jobs, and y'all know I told y'all this year I'm not gonna put my my all into these jobs. I'm just not. So you guys, I ended up getting fired from the last job I was just at, and um, she wrongfully terminated everyone. So I mean, I didn't do anything. <sighs> that was just on BS, right? So I said, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to invest in my business and get my business back up and running because you guys, I miss having a business. Um, I miss being able to send off orders. I miss running the website. I just miss that feeling. So um, I'm right right now. Right now, I'm working on my website for Out Loud, which I've been meaning to make a website for Out Loud for a while now. I just hadn't gotten around to it because I'm still building the content on the social media platforms. But I do want Out Loud to have its own website where you can come and you know read vlogs i'm going to be sending out weekly newsletters to um just help you guys stay motivated stay inspired throughout your week um i'm also going to be starting to sell products such as journals pens stickers for the journal so right now mostly journals and i also have an adult coloring book coming as well i'm super super excited and um yeah i'm just happy so right now i am getting um the website together and I was going through everything trying to um, make sure I could place my order through um, with the manufacturers. But I had to basically show because if you know, you know, you're purchasing through manufacturers. They want to verify that you actually have a up and running business most of the time. I don't know why because I just feel like if I got the money to pay you for what, I mean, you should just make the shit regardless. I mean, I'm paying you regardless. But 
I digress. So I had to go through a lot to try to make sure that my business is verifiable. I had to provide my um um numbers and just I had to go through a lot. So nonetheless, um everything was settled. Um I got process for my order so inventory should be coming in within the next two weeks and so what i'm going to be doing is finishing my website planning how my uh photo shoot and brand shoot is going to look for the rollout um which i kind of already got a deep idea um and what else and that's just pretty much it. Just pretty much getting everything ready for the launch. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So I'm super excited for that. Um, and yeah. And I also have to continue to do content in the midst of all of this. So yeah. Um, I know I just went on to a little ramble. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have not left y'all. And I'm definitely going to be vlogging a lot more now that I'm starting my business um, back up. Like full. Because I mean I've, I've had out loud. And what I mean by business backup is like you know selling things because if you know then you know i used to have my business called the queen of collection where i was selling lashes hair accessories purses first slides anything I, you can name i had it it was under the queen of collection um i ended up stopping the queen of collection and i did that around 2020 2021 and y'all when i said i've been feeling so empty because you know the business the entrepreneur boss bitch mentality has always been in me i feel like um i kind of got too comfortable with not having a business and you know with me getting fired from that last job it really put the fire under my ass for me to go ahead and order this inventory because i've been saying i wanted to start selling journals for out loud i've always said that um that's the reason why i started to do my digital products but i also love 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 physical products personally for me because you know, I'll be honest, I write more so in my physical journals than I do on my um, digital journals. But I use, I do use both. I wanted to get back into my entrepreneurship bag. Also, um, we're going to take this thing up a notch so I don't have to be worried about these jobs. I'm like, so just over it at this point, I'll be honest and say. Like, um, I'm about to be 25 this year. I just want to be happy. I want to do the things that I love to do. And that is um, being an entrepreneur, being a full-time content creator, and just being creative, being me, like being myself out loud. Like, I have just, even though I've been, like, stressed trying to make sure I get everything together, um, I'm okay now. I feel like God has definitely definitely really pushed me to new levels and with new levels comes new devils i just have to remain um i just have to stay the course and and have faith and believe and i know my business is going to do well i know my products are going to sell so i am very very excited and just really ecstatic to finally 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 um be you know back into you know putting the the my finances back in my hands i feel like for a while i've just been working these jobs and i've been getting let down disappointed because i haven't just you know been able to have a consistent job and so now that i could just move into the route of entrepreneurship and also yes yeah, still you know getting little jobs here and there until i just get completely where i want to be you know that's just what i got to do and i'm going to document this journey uh, which i've been meaning to document just my whole journey and my whole life in general but of course i'm just the kind of person i don't like everybody in my business um i just don't but i am confident i am me i love myself i'm beautiful i'm wonderful i'm persistent i'm ambitious i am a bad bitch so you know, bad bitches have bad days too, but at the end of the day, I still got to keep going, and this is what I do it for. So, um, I hope you guys continue to support me and continue to rock out with me. Also, make sure you guys follow Out Loud LLC on all platforms, on TikTok, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Watch my existing episodes. I am coming out with more episodes and more content. My TikTok has been doing good. Um, and also, make sure you guys sign up for so you'll be the first to know when I will drop my journals, outloudllc.org. Um, it'll be in the description box below. So once you click that, 
it's gonna bring you up to this page i haven't finished my website yet so it's gonna tell you to put in your email so you can know when we will launch and you can be the first to know okay y'all we just pulled up at the restaurant about to grab i need a new gloss i'm, I'm not a fan of this one we celebrate <laughs> what are we celebrating? Oh, we can celebrate. I just hit um one mama said 300 hours. That's right good. now I'm at 316 and yeah, by next week I'll be at 299. That's good. Okay, hey, celebrating the 300 hey. hours and we're celebrating. Well, now the website ain't lunch, but I'm gonna celebrate because I started. So, oh, yeah. gotta celebrate the small wins because I just um. I'm almost finished with the damn website. But I got it. Well, no, celebrating for the products on the way. Because they're on the way. And once they get here, I can finally finish the website and we can launch. We will be launching next month for Mental Health Awareness Month. Ugh. I'm excited for this. Why is it showing up so dark? It's giving the dark aesthetic vibe. I'm going to do that. So we just left the lounge. It was a vibe. Um, I was trying to tell y'all in the club. Well, restaurant. It's really a restaurant. I was trying to tell y'all when I was there. I was trying to go for something that don't revolve around hookah and drinks. But that's all it is here. We ain't got no <laughs> news. But y'all, um, we're about to go to Insomnia. Super don't be believing. I don't talk to nobody, but I really don't talk to nobody. Like, I don't be doing nothing like it's okay though because the world don't revolve around this. It, it don't, and also too like I know it's coming, and then when it comes, it's gonna be somebody that like I'm gonna love. He gonna love me, and you know. Hey, we're gonna run off into the sunset. I'm be sad about my man. Y'all, she told me. Hello. She said every time I talk about me, it's like I want to get married, but I do want to be married. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm wrong with it, but damn, you act like you gonna meet that nigga the first day you marry him. That's how I you be am. Talking. That's how you be talking. Because I am, y'all. Okay, maybe not the first day. That's how you be talking. Like, okay, Jay, give it some time. You acting like you. I am, dope, bro. I will fall in love like the first day for real. Like, what you see that I'm a lover girl. I'm gonna fall in love the first day because I feel like. If I really like you, hell yeah, nigga. I don't want you to go nowhere else. Stay with me. I love you. Can I get a U turn right here? And she the same fucking way. She worse than me. Why the um, She's worse than me, y'all. Do not fucking listen to her. She's worse than me. Like, I'll meet a guy and I'm like, okay, cool. It might go somewhere. It girl, you but fucking lie. You a bit delusional do. about that man. Talking about him all day. She's a fucking <laughs> lie. She, that's her. That's her. I don't. Y'all, when I say I don't talk to nobody, I don't talk to nobody. Like, I ain't got nobody I could just call. Y'all, I haven't, I don't remember last time I had a good morning text. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I just feel like the dating pool is just so dry right now. And I feel like it's just going to take for me to, like, really be where I want to be so I can, like, you know, have my pick of the crop. Because I don't care what, what nobody say. I know that's the real thing. If you a woman, you got your own shit, you doing your own shit you, you focused on you that shit just come like this so yeah, you're gonna attract you're gonna attract that yeah it's like what you you are what you attract you attract what you are so i just know like when i get to like that point it'll be time and i'm i do want to i definitely want to get married but i'm definitely not gonna force it <laughs> but y'all i did tell this dude because he was y'all he was ready to have a kid I'm like, um, I want to be married first. I don't know what happened to that man. I guess he wanted to get married. But he wanted to knock me up. Baby, this ain't, it ain't, mm -mm, it ain't going like that. But, on the other on the other hand, when I do find, like, my right one, like, 
the one. Shut the fuck up, Jay. I'm done. I am my, done. She's worse than me. Like, I, I don't know done. why she on her acting. I don't know why she on I am me. not. It's just so funny. You are so funny. I'm so serious though. I like, know you I, are, but it's like <laughs> when you talk about it, you just go. You, it's like you thinking about, it, like you visualizing, like you I'm already living in it when you talking. Cause so, I am like. Bro, you sound like you got a man. Like he's at home waiting on you. No, he's waiting on me. Like no, but that's but that's the power of manifestation. Like mm -hmm. when you speak like that, you're going to attract that. Like so, I'm already knowing I got me a top notch, fine man waiting on me. We just ain't make it. And we <laughs> I'm being so for real. She's she so did. delusional. I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, but that's the type of delusion I like. Like you I got like to though. I ain't gonna lie, like anybody will tell you, like to really manifest the shit you want, you have to be delusional. You have to believe it. You have to really see it for yourself. And I see myself really being in love, really being like I don't see myself in no toxic situation. That's the reason why I be like this. Like, I don't really see myself dealing with no toxic man. Because the thing is, if I ever was to date someone in it and I see that it's toxic, I'm going to leave. If I see that this man isn't for me, I'm going to leave. That's the reason why I talk like that. Because I've done so much healing that to the point when I do start back talking to people, it's so easy for me to drop, you know, drop them if they ain't what I want. So that's how you just know. You just got to manifest it. You got to see it for yourself. And when you see it for yourself, you want to track that shit. Period. Okay, so we just pulled up to Instagram, y'all. While we was in the car talking, whole time, <laughs> the line getting longer still. So now we got to wait in the line. But I'm chilling. It feels good. Yeah, it does. I think it's really because I hit that pen. Like, when I be, they just mellow me out. Like, I be doing whatever. I feel like I'm out of time. This is a different type of vibe, y'all. We should have came down here while we playing. I want to learn how to play had food. a cousin house to go to. So. A cousin house? Nah, she really wants to say if we had a boo house. <laughs> I if said a cousin. What did we say? I wonder what my cousin's doing. Let me go help my cousins bring in the groceries. No, no but this shit better be good. I know. <laughs> good. Many things have taken place before this love affair began.